B Marsh Boxing. B Marsh Boxing, and we back at it. Back at it with another live stream. Women's Boxing tonight. Super Bantamweight title. Zarika Fatuma from Kenya. The champion versus Yamilith Mercado from Mexico. Man, it's a sad day. Sad day today, man. Sad day for the Kenyan massive, man. Our champion, our only champion in boxing lost. And I knew this would happen. I, I, you know, really and truly, man. I, I knew this would happen, man. You know, this is a tall order, tough task. And to come to somebody's backyard. Yeah, man, it's a tall order, man. You see, man, let's get into it round by round. You check it? Round by round. I'm going to go check that Kenya hashtag. Um, Mercado versus, I'm sorry, uh, Zarika versus Mercado right after I do this video, man. I want to see what people are talking about for this fight. You know what I mean? The first round was a jab fest. It was a close round, but they were both pumping the jab. Zarika had the best punches in the round to me in round one. Two straight right hands, and I gave her the round. You know what I mean? Round two, another close round. You know what I'm saying? Zarika was showing her defensive, um, her, her tight defense, her defensive abilities. She was keeping the distance, you know what I mean? But not enough distance to really assert much offense. Although I did have a win in the round, a close round though, with the straight right hand she was landing. But Mercado was now finding a home with that left hook, you know what I mean? Mercado was a slower fighter, definitely with the punch out, but she had the higher punch output, you check it? Round three, Mercado is more active, Fatuma's defensive minded, but she's not countering, you know what I mean? She's not making um, Yamilith Mercado pay for missing, you know what I'm saying? And then, but but when um, Zarika Fat Fatuma Zarika tried to counter punch, she was missing, you know what I mean? Throwing wide, wide hooks or wide uppercuts that just weren't finding a home, you know what I mean? But Mercado was now investing to the body, Mexican style. If you're fighting a Mexican, you already know. It's not a game. Hold tight. Let me send these links to social media one time. Hold tight. Hold tight. We covering women's boxing tonight, you know what I mean? It was a slow weekend for boxing. but All right, we back at it, man. Round four. Mercado's punch output, the activity, is why she's winning rounds, you know what I mean? She's throwing left hooks to the head and to the body. Zarika's not countering. Round five, Mercado has Fatuma on the ropes, the volume punching and aggression, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Fatuma got tight defense. But she missed, you know what I mean? She's missing shots. Her offense just wasn't there. What the deal? E. Woodson, E. Woodson in the chat. Salute, my mm. guy. Big up, big up, man. All right. Um, round, where we at? Round seven, a close round. You know what I'm saying? Zarika has tight defense. She's making Mercado miss. And she's finally now finding a home with that straight right hand. You know what I mean? This is what she was doing in the earlier rounds. Now she's starting to percolate in round seven. You know what I mean? Straight right hands, and it was, she was rocking the girl, uh, Mercado. Round eight, left hook rocked Mercado. I'm sorry, a left hook rocked Zarika. Mercado, um, Mercado threw a beautiful left hook, you know what I mean? And it hurt the girl, Zarika. Zarika was hurt, you know what I'm saying? I thought, man, she got her jaw spun in that particular round. You check it? I thought she was about to go down, you know what I mean? But she kept her composure, although she lost the round, but that left hook was mean, you know what I'm saying? Round nine, Fatima Fat 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 catches Mercado with clean right hand on the ropes. That was a peculiar round right there. She catches her with the clean right hand, snuffs her, probably her best punch of the fight. You check it? Rocks the girl back, back into the ropes, but she stops right in her tracks, and, and, and she touches gloves with the girl. I don't know if this, I'm not saying this was fixed, because, yo, Mercado, man, she came to fight. You know what I'm saying? She's a slower fighter, no question. You know what I mean? But the punch output was where she was definitely securing rounds. You know what I mean? Round 10. Man, the girl speaking Spanish, man. She's doing a post-fight interview. I don't speak Spanish, so I, I can't understand what she's saying. But round 10, I gave that to Zarika. You know what I mean? She was trying to go for the knockout, although... She was. I didn't see a knockout coming, and that was just basically a sympathy round, you know what I mean? So I had this fight round, six rounds to four, 96-94. If you got a 9-3, I ain't mad at you, but the correct woman won tonight, you know what I mean? Now let me tell you this. 
this is a rematch. I didn't get to see the first fight. I only seen highlights of it. I didn't see it online. It's not on YouTube. It's only highlights. And the first fight was a split decision. And that fight was in Nairobi, Kenya. Big up to my 254 massive. B Marsh in the house. Big up all my Kawangware massive. Dago. Kilamutu out there in Nairobi. Salute. But we lost our champion tonight. You know what I mean? Our only world champion in boxing. To be honest, this girl, she was even too friendly with Mercado. Every time touching gloves, it reminded me of Floyd, um, Manny Pacquiao versus Shane Mosley. Every single time they touching gloves like they about to go to dinner after the fight, you know what I mean? The man Pacquiao drops Mosley. Mosley gets up, they still touching gloves. That's what Zarika and Mercado were doing tonight, you know what I'm saying? Maca Zarika looked like, look, compared to the fight that she had with, with the Piri girl, the girl from Zimba Zambia, um, Catherine Piri, she looked intense in that fight and she looked happy to be there, you know what I mean? As in, like she, was, she wasn't as tight as tonight. Tonight she looked like she was kind of nervous, man. And truth be told, she went, to, she went to the opponent's country. And to me, the way I only seen her winning this fight is she win by knockout. Even if Zarika won this fight nine rounds to three, she ain't getting, she not retaining her title. This is a WBC title. The WBC is based in Mexico. You know what I mean? And I'm not saying that had anything to do with anything tonight. This girl, um, Yamilith Mercado, won fair and square. She actually even washed this girl. She washed Zarika tonight. You know what I mean? It's a damn shame, but B. Marsh is here to speak the truth. I hope my Kenya Massive listened to this video, and I can't wait to see what y'all talking about. Because really and truly... The, that last fight with Catherine Peary, that fight could have even gone to Peary's way. It could have gone either way. I slightly edged it to Zarika, but, you know, if you told me that Catherine Peary won that fight, I wouldn't be mad at you, you know what I mean? Unanimous decision, 99-91. Damn, man, they moved the scores. I was reading the scores off the TV, but they moved them. Man. Where we at in the chat? B J1980 says, B Marsh, how you doing, brother? Salute, J1980. How you doing, man? I'm all, all is good, man. I'm just saluting, you know, people from my country, my world champion from my country, Kenya, man. She lost tonight, you know what I mean? Scorecards 99-91, 98-92, 99-91. You know what I'm saying? It was, it was a, a clean wash, you know what I mean? It, this was a wide decision, you know what I'm saying? Um, e. Woodson's in the chat says just got off work heading heading home had to jump in and show love salute man big up i so i appreciate that he wasn't saying what up to the man j19 j1980 yeah man you know it's very disappointing but i knew that you know even if she knocked this girl out she probably would have just got a draw so you know she had a tall order a talk mountain mountain to climb and out there man in mexico this is foreign territory Yamila looked so confident from the first, when she walked into the ring, you know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? And compared to how Zarika walked into the ring in her last fight versus Catherine Peary in KICC in Kenya, Nairobi, compared to how she walked into the ring today in Chihuahua, Mexico, it's night and day, man. It's night and day, you know what I mean? It's, it's night and day, and... Um, Zarika, to me, just wasn't letting that right hand go. I don't know why. And that was her best punch of the night. This other girl was slow with the punches, but she had that patented left hook, Mexican style, to the liver and to the head. And she had it percolating. And in round nine, she almost knocked Zarika out. You know what I mean? So be March boxing. Leave your thoughts and comments. J1980 says, let's hope 2020 will be an exciting year for the fight game. I believe it will. You know, 2019... Wasn't a bad year at all. I can't be mad at 2019. You know, some fights that we wanted didn't get made. But at the end of the day, let's hope for 2020 be a brighter brighter year for boxing. B-March Boxing, salute to the 254. Congratulations to Zarika Mac I'm sorry, I'm Catherine. No, what am I saying? Congratulations to Yamilith Makada, the new WBC Super Bantamweight champion. Congratulations also to Zarika Fatuma, man. She put on for Kenya, you know what I mean? You know, she got a lot of support from Kenya. A lot of people showed her love. She was definitely carrying the sport of boxing on her back for the country. Hopefully she can um, inspire everybody, from man and woman, to reach the heights that she reached as far as being a world champion. Really and truly, 
Kenya has never had a world champion in the men's yeah. division, you know what I mean? Women, we have had Zarika Fatuma, salute to her. She made history. She lost the world title. I believe this was maybe her third title defense, you know what I mean? But at the end of the day, the right woman won. Be much boxing, I'm gone. Peace.